What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Got a product review today. We are reviewing a Dex Zip Binder 9. This is a zip binder from Dex Protection. I use binders all the time, none of which have a zipper. So this is pretty interesting to me on the back. It says, holds 360 double or single sleeve standard or mini size cards. 20 side loading acid free PVC pages, additional fly leaf before first and last pages for added protection, real velvet interior, heavy gauge, tough zipper, luxurious padded Safiano exterior. So looks like a pretty dope binder and it retails for $28 on their website, dexprotection.com. I am not affiliated with Dex Protection in any kind of way, but I do like a lot of their storage products. So I'm gonna be giving this review with my honest opinion. Now, I do use a couple of different binders so far for my collections. I've got this four binder, which I keep some of my sets in. I've got a first edition rocket set in here that I am going to be porting over to the Zip Binder 9. And I'm looking to give this collection just a little bit more protection than it has previously. The four binder that this is uh, in currently is nice and has the four sleeves, right? Per pay, four sleeves per row in order to really show off a complete set, but I'm worried about cards falling out of it. I also have monster binders that I have used for collections. I've got my Misty collection in this monster binder here, and I do love monster binders, but I am concerned uh, with storing collections in monster binders long term because of the texture on the back. They actually can ruin Japanese cards, which I've seen uh, if the Japanese cards are unsleeved. So I am looking for something that maybe uh, adds a little bit more protection than that. So hence, here we are, Dex Protection, Dex Zipper Binder 9. Let's crack this thing out of the wrapping and see what it has to offer. First impressions, definitely a nice feel to it. It feels very professional, like I would be carrying some sort of important documents in this, maybe a business portfolio or something like that. So definitely uh, holding true to the luxurious feel that it says it has. Here's the zipper here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that thing. And then inside, wow, you got that kind of uh, the velvet interior that Dex Protection uses in a lot of their products. And then a fly page, which they said they have now, the inside does look pretty nice. It is definitely not as thick as the uh, Monster Binders are, so I am worried maybe about the thinness of it. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Ultra Pro Binder insides. If you've used any of the Ultra Pro Binders with the, with the strap, it does feel very similar to that. The plastic does feel a little bit cheaper maybe, than that of a monster binder. It's got like a very thin feel to it, but the outside is most definitely, uh, you know, very sturdy and feels very, very slick and professional. So I really love the casing of the binder. Uh, I will have to see how the cards fit into the actual sleeves of the notebook itself and then how they fare in a uh, backpack shake test. So we're gonna go ahead, throw a collection in here real quick and see what we think. So I put my entire first edition rocket set in the binder. These are all in perfect fit sleeves. I will say that each of the slots in this binder is pretty big, so definitely enough room for the cards to move around. It's not quite as snug as you might find with maybe a monster binder or an, uh, or maybe the four binder that I showed off previously. These are looser slots, similar to that of the Ultra Pro binder with the strap. That being said, uh, the cards do all fill out the page nicely. They have those black backgrounds on each of the pages, which looks pretty nice. I also decided to put in some of my Misty's Determination Full Arts, a small sampling from my collection. These are all in clear dragon shields to see how they fill out each slot a little bit differently. I feel like these are much more snug in each of the slots and I'd feel more comfortable with the cards not moving around in the page when they're in dragon shields. So I would highly suggest putting 
your individual cards in dragon shields. That way you get a little bit of added protection as well. It does thicken up each of the pages, but I feel more confident that my cards aren't going to be shaking around in the spot. And as I was putting these in here, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm about to give my first edition rocket set a, a shake test, but eh, it's fine. Anyways, we also have some unsleeved cards in here uh, at the back of the binder. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip this thing up and then toss it in my backpack. And we're gonna give it the backpack shake test here to see how the binder fares when uh, traveling around. After jostling the binder around a little bit, let's see how the cards fared. Thankfully, they are all very firmly in their spots. So that looks good to me. None of the cards have shifted. None of them are hanging out. They appear to be still right where I left them. So very happy with that. Uh, the, the perfect fit sleeve cards seem to have fared well. It looks like the dragon shield cards also right where I left them. So got to dig that. And the unsleeved cards, as you can see, are a little bit more jostled. This Yan Mega here looks like it's seen some action. Maybe has slid around a little bit. It's not exactly aligned the way that I left it. But all in all, the cards seem to have stayed in their place with quite a bit of tossing around. I have to say that the cards do look very nice in this binder, too. I just feel like I would want the card to fill up a little bit more of each of the slots. So I do feel like the optimal sleeve choice for this binder is probably something like a thicker profile, dragon shield, or something like that. But all in all, the binder is definitely slick and I look forward to putting some sort of collection in here. Uh, like I said, the pages are thin. They do remind me a little bit of the Ultra Pro binder pages with the strap. The pages are definitely a little bit flimsy. They're definitely thin. The overall stock of the binder though is absolutely A plus. The, uh, the outer you know, cardboard or whatever sort of board they use for this is, not cardboard, but board, okay, that they use for the outer part of the binder here is definitely sturdy. And the exterior, like I said, feels like a business portfolio or something like that, definitely an excellent exterior and then the zipper uh, does not seem super cheap or anything like that it doesn't seem like the zipper is going to break it feels pretty tightly sewn in so overall i definitely am happy with the product and i think that uh, i'm not sure if i would want to store my most valuable cards in the binder just because of the flim flimsiness of the pages that is the only concern that I would have. That being said, the binder coming with a zipper and having a little fly leaf there to protect your front page is awesome too because you always worry about your front page kind of taking some unnecessary wear. So I do really like the fly leaf. It does seem like a very well crafted product and would recommend it for 28 bucks. It's not bad priced either. And the zipper makes sure that everything kind of stays in place. So awesome stuff. Dex protection, zipper binder nine, $28 on their website. Pretty rocking stuff. I love that it's got the zipper to keep the binder closed. You don't have to worry about the binder uh, kind of flailing open in your backpack or anything like that and any damage happening to your card. So definitely stoked about this product. A plus from me. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym for daily Pokemon streams. We are doing next format post rotation content right now on tabletop streams every single weekday. Also make sure to check out fullgripgames.com for all your magic and Pokemon TCG singles. Also, a major thanks to Jenai and Travis Wood for being my Blastoise tier Patreon subs. Thank you so much. Everybody supports me on Twitch and Patreon. Your support goes a super long way. Thank you guys for all your awesomeness. Take it easy. Peace.